Let the audience pick the game to review, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Well, by popular vote of, like, three people, I'll be talking about... <sighs> Pony World 3 this week. You. Yeah, you. Guys who requested this game. Don't you click that X on the top of your browser. You started it, we're gonna finish it. This one's gonna be a challenge for me. Mainly because this game is obviously not aimed at my age group. This is a game for children. On the surface level, it's a simplified version of The Sims with ponies instead of people to play as. You decide what the objective of each playthrough is before the game starts, and these can range from starting a family to getting a certain amount of money. You get to customize your pony a bit. It's pretty much just color scheme and whether or not it gets to wear glasses. I guess for kids it's alright, but I'd feel a little disappointed if this was aimed at my demographic. Continuing with customization, you get a large plot of land to build your dream ranch on and it is much more space than you actually need for certain game modes. In my playthroughs, I found myself building anything I'd need right next to the exit to the town. I built a house, a shower, and a couple vegetable patches for food. And just like real life, I learned quickly it's much cheaper just to make your own food rather than eating out all the time. I had to reset my game a couple times because I kept locking myself in a cycle where I didn't have any food growing at home, needed to eat, needed money to buy something to eat, but my pony didn't want to get an education to make money because it was unhappy about not eating. It was right around this time I decided to let the game ride out and see if my pony would starve to death. Maybe I didn't wait long enough, but all that happened was it would get in progressively worse shape but never actually die. And unfortunately I'd be unable to do anything about its failing health because I didn't have the money nor the happiness to make anything happen. On my fifth or so run of the game, I discovered various minigames that rewarded me with money and taught me a very poor life lesson. I can just play games all day and not work. Seriously, spend an hour playing the Bejeweled knockoff and you'll have more money than 8 hours of grinding out working as a hairdresser. It was faster, funner, and more profitable. Other minigames include a maze crawl, a platformer race thingamajig, a memory game, and a puzzle to solve. The Bejeweled ones served me well enough that the others were unnecessary. I wish they could speed up the animations in that game, though it's very slow and sluggish, but it was still the best thing about the game to abuse. Speaking of abuse, I decided I wanted to be a happy little homewrecker, so I jumped on a female pony and started trying to court the married males. I wanted to experiment and see what all the game would let me get away with, but like most aspects of Pony World 3, it was too much effort for too little entertainment. It's probably just me not caring enough to try, but trying to bump ogies with these other ponies took far too long and felt like a grind. And that's one of the main objectives for completion to win the game. So what we're left with is a game where you can either grind out conversation choices to nail Fluttershy, or play a gimped version of Bejeweled 3 for 3 hours to win. Either way, you lose. But like I said, this game wasn't aimed at me. It was aimed at my daughter's age group and she couldn't get enough of it. I'm not entirely sure she fully understood everything she was doing, but she was having a lot of fun. So yeah, if you have a younger daughter, I'd say go ahead and pick it up. For 5 bucks, you'll shut them up for an evening or two.